Hey kids, so good to see you again. Welcome to this special message that's just for you. So today I'm gonna to show you some signs. Let's take a look at these signs and see if there's any of them that we recognize. Take a look at this first one. That's a one-way sign, right? Usually we see these along the road when we're driving and it tells us which direction we should drive on the road. Or maybe we see something like this at the grocery store or on the sidewalk when we're only supposed to go in one direction. How about this sign? Have you seen one of these before? Yeah, this is a subway sign. So it tells us which way we need to go to catch the train that we're trying to get on, right? It has an arrow pointing in the direction of the next train. Okay, maybe you haven't seen those signs, but I'm sure all of you have seen this sign before. This sign is a restroom sign, right? So we always see these any place that we go where there's a restroom and it points in the direction of where we can find the nearest place to go to the bathroom. So all of these signs have something in common, right? And they all have arrows that are pointing in a certain direction that are telling us which way we need to go. And these arrows direct us on the right path to get what we need or go where we need to go. Well, today Jesus is talking to his disciples in our reading about just that. He's promised to prepare a place for them and for you and me. And he tells them, I'm going there and someday you will get to go there too. One of his disciples asks, Jesus, how will we get there if we don't know where you're going? Well, it's a good question, right? And Jesus answers him, I am the way the truth and the life. That means I am like that arrow on the sign pointing where you need to go. And all you need to do is follow me. So just like these signs, Jesus points us back to God. And not only that, he tells us that he is himself God. So the closer we draw to Jesus, the closer we come to God, and the closer we come to being with God in heaven. How do we get closer to God? by reading his word and studying what he says. We can do that each and every day, either through Sunday school or at church or in our own homes with our families. Let's pray, thanking God for being the way, the truth and the life for us. Can you fold your hands? Dear Lord, thank you so much for sending Jesus to be the way to guide us and direct us back to you. Help us to always trust in him, even in difficult times like these. We pray that you would be with each of our families, keep us safe, and keep us focused on you. In your name we pray. Amen. Just one quick announcement before I let you go. We have now transitioned our Sunday School lessons to being online. So underneath this video is a link that you can click to um, access the Sunday School lesson. It's through a program called Sutori. It's completely free if you wanna sign up and leave comments in the program, or you can send your feedback to um, immwhitestone at gmail.com or to my email at anna at emmanuelwhitestone.com. Thanks and hope to see you in the virtual Sunday School world. Also, thank you to everyone who came on Saturday to our virtual Zoom meeting, our get together with Sunday School. We are hoping to do that again next week, so stay tuned about news on that. Thank you and have a great week.